guys, this is Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews, and I've got to say, it has been a year of me talking about ellipticals and treadmills, and I just feel like so thankful that I people are watching me talk about ellipticals and treadmills. Like, there is probably thousands of you now that are like, yes, let me hear more about the Nordic Track, or let me hear more about the Bowflex, and it's just a really cool moment, so thank you for following along. Today, we're going to talk about our picks for the best ellipticals for your home gym. This is a home gym space, after all. I mean, that's what we love. That's what we do. So if you are looking for an elliptical that's going to fit your needs, looking for an elliptical that's going to fit into your home gym space, go ahead, continue to watch this video. We are going to get in the details about my top three favorite picks, my overall favorite ellipticals that I've used so far. But if you're looking for more, maybe you don't agree with me, maybe you don't like the three that I have chosen, we have a full rate review on our website. Go ahead, we place a link below the like button, click on that link. You will come up and find more than three ellipticals on that rate review. Also, if you want to purchase any of the ellipticals that we've talked about today, go ahead and use the link below the like button. When you use that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give us a small commission and we greatly appreciate it when you do that. Also, make sure you're subscribed to our channel, share it with your friends, let them know, hey, Lindsay's still talking about ellipticals over there. Go check her out. And lastly, some of these have been sent to us by the company, but that doesn't change what I'm gonna say about it. I'm gonna be transparent and honest. Let's talk about GGR's overall pick, kind of the best elliptical in our minds, and that is the Nordic Track Air Glide. All right, so in the summer of 2023, they went ahead and did away with their 14.9. Now that was kind of our top pick. So we are really curious to see if this new AirGlide version, their updated model to the 14.9 outdid the 14.9 model or if it fell short. In some ways, I think that it's better. In some ways, I think it's neutral. In some ways, I actually think that it is worse. Now, first thing I wanna say, this is actually cheaper than the 14.9. The 14.9 cost came in at $2,000. With this Nordic Track Air Glide, it's coming in around $1,800. So already there's kind of a plus to that. It's $200 cheaper, which I think we all love to save money. One thing that I think is a standout feature and a good reason why we chose this for our best overall elliptical is it has a decline function. So with this Air Glide, it actually goes from a negative 5% decline all the way up to a 15% incline. That is pretty rare when it comes to ellipticals. We don't see that as often as we see it in treadmills. And overall, I really love a decline function. While I was using this, I went ahead and did the 25 Pyramid Challenge Climb. It really went ahead, elevated that incline. It got me going, got my heart rate up, and it uses the iFit programming. So if you don't like iFit programming, there is no point in buying this elliptical. But if you are looking for a program like iFit or iFit particularly, I think iFit is a solid program. I think it is a solid choice and I really enjoy all of their classes that I take on them in regards to their elliptical, in regards to their treadmill or some of their hit classes as well. While I was using this, I didn't notice any sort of shakiness. I mean, this is a solid machine. Now, one thing is it is a heavier machine. Wherever you want to place this, I would go ahead and just keep it there. Even though you can move it around, there is a handlebar on the back. It's just not something that you're gonna be wanting to move from room to room. And along with that, I would say that the build on this, we went ahead and got wide glove delivery service during this and there was missing a couple of parts. So they actually weren't able to continue. We had to go ahead and finish the build ourselves. There is some heavy parts involved in this. There's some tricky wiring. So I would say if you can go ahead and afford wide glove delivery service, do that. But just know there might be some missing parts. However, Nordic Track went ahead, sent us their parts right away, but overall it's just kind of a pain to deal with that. Another thing I really like about this is it has a 14 inch display. It is touchscreen, it's full cover. It has speakers around it, making the sound really, really clear. One thing to keep in mind, I have tested a lot of ellipticals. When I had the setting at zero on this Air Clyde, it did not feel like zero. Like there is already some resistance built in compared to other ellipticals I've tried. Last thing I will say about this, and this is kind of a meh for me. So with the 14.9, it actually had a 20 inch stride length. That is something that I think is great, allows a lot of people to be able to use it and a lot of taller people to be able to use it. However, they didn't have any sort of adjustability. Now comes in the Air Glide, all of a sudden we have adjustable stride length, but the stride length is only 17.5 to 18.5, so we're really missing that 20 inch mark. If we could have had an adjustable stride length and hit that 20 inches, overall I would have said like this is by far one of the best sort of elliptical patterns you can have, because it just accommodates so many people, but because it's only that 18.5 inches, I mean, sure, a lot of people can use it, but overall I still wish it was bigger.
All right, so let's say you don't want to spend that $1,800 mark. You're looking to spend like $1,000 less. Go ahead, check out our pick for the best budget-friendly elliptical for your home gym, and that is the Horizon EX59. The Horizon EX59, again, comes in around that $700 mark, making it like an incredibly budget-friendly elliptical. Some of my favorite treadmills comes from Horizon. I love the 7.4, I love the 7.0, so I'm not surprised that I actually really enjoyed the Horizon EX59. Now, everybody who was watching my videos knows like, okay, Lindsay's not the biggest elliptical fan. It's not what I use every day. But the three that I picked today are three that have stood out in my mind. And again, this Horizon EX59 really does stand out. In terms of conveniences, it has large water bottle holders. It has a media storage. It has Bluetooth connectivity. It has a headphone jack and a USB charging port. So it does have a lot of conveniences, even though this is a more budget-friendly option. With this, you are gonna find large oversized pedals, which I think is something that everybody should look for, as well as dual handlebars. So one is fixed and then one is moving. I find that a lot of people who have mobility or balance issues really appreciate the fixed handlebars because it really helps them get on and off the elliptical. And then obviously you can go ahead and once you have mounted the elliptical, go ahead and use the moving handlebars to get going. All right, so the programming on this is very basic. You're gonna have about eight different programs. It's nothing like what you're gonna find with iFit programming. So if you are somebody who's looking for external motivation, this might not be the right fit. Their programs are kind of basic. I did do the interval program. I enjoyed that the most. And I mean, it did its job. It did what it was intended to do. Like, right, it made me break a sweat. It made me get my heart rate up. That is the goal of the elliptical. But overall, it was just kind of boring. Like there wasn't a lot to it. Even though the interval program was my most favorite, my least favorite was the distance. I mean, it just felt like I was going forever. And along with kind of just the minimalist thing, there isn't a touch screen. This is a basic backlit LCD screen. There's buttons on the front, but overall it's like nothing impressive or nothing aesthetically pleasing. With this elliptical, it's much easier to move around than the Air Glide. It weighs 145 pounds, so almost 100 pounds less again than that Air Glide. It also has a weight capacity of 300 pounds, which does meet industry standards and really allows a lot of people to be able to use it. Last thing I will say about this is it does have a lighter flywheel than I typically like to see on an elliptical. So it's only a 14 pound flywheel. I would have loved to see a 16 pound flywheel. I kind of feel like that's the low end of what I think makes a quality flywheel and just creates a lot of longevity within the machine. But we have had this elliptical for quite some time, haven't noticed any sort of issues with it and I do still feel like it's a pretty smooth elliptical pattern as you're using it. Okay, our last pick is the best ellipticals for comfort, and that is the Bowflex M6. I actually really like this elliptical. If I were going to have an elliptical in my home gym, it would be this one. This one comes with oversized large foot pedals that are also padded. So again, if you're looking for that extra comfort to an elliptical, I mean, ellipticals are inherently already really low impact, but if you are looking for even a step further, the cushion on the Bowflex pedals are actually really great. With this elliptical particularly, this is not a typical elliptical. I mean, this is so much different than what we have seen with the Air Glide. With the Air Glide, you have that typical elliptical pattern. With this Bowflex, you actually have like a stair stepper elliptical combination. So it's really great for those who are weightlifting and need to add in some zone two each week. I mean, it's gonna get your heart rate up. If you don't like doing like a stair climber or a stair master, I think this is a great alternative. I actually really enjoyed it. And I found like I was actually having to work to keep my heart rate down, keep it in that zone two, because it is such a workout. At a price point of $1,500, I actually think this is a solid price point. I actually really like this elliptical. It does come with journey programming. That is a monthly subscription cost that you are gonna have to pay for. And you are gonna have to download that either on your phone or your iPad and connect it through Bluetooth to the elliptical. They do have a media shelf that makes it really easy to place your iPad or your iPhone to be able to follow along with that journey programming. But overall, it's not like the most convenient and it's not my favorite programming, but I do think it's decent. One thing I will say about the journey program that I think is really cool is it will learn your fitness movement. It will learn your heart rate. It will learn your activity level. And as you become more and more fit, it's gonna up that resistance and up that intensity so that you're getting even more of a workout. Another thing that I really like about this is it has a smaller footprint. So again, it's almost like half the size of that Air Clyde, only measuring 46 inches long. So it's great for those of us who have a small home gym or a small space.
Again, these are my top three. These are the favorites. These are the ones that have stood out to me, but there are more on our website. If you want to go ahead and check those out, we have placed a link below the like button. Guys, thank you for sticking with me. It's been a year that I've been doing this. I can't wait to see what next year holds, what next year brings. We have a lot coming your way, so stick around. Make sure you subscribe. This has been Lindsay with Garage Reviews.